What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you're looking for a portable microphone, Amazon Basics has one. Okay, I picked this up. Uh, this is an Amazon Basics product. It's actually a portable USB microphone. And I have checked out one before. It was by Samsung. And this one looked very similar very similar but it did not look identical so i thought why not give it a try because it was actually half the price of the samson one which was actually a pretty good value and i really am uh intrigued by the packaging of this travel microphone because on my samsung it's really great uh it's really small and portable and i really love it and you can slide it into a backpack a pocket even and always have a microphone with you especially if you're ever going to do any podcasting something on the road you want to record a video have really good audio it's nice to have a, a microphone and i'll tell you what having a small microphone that's 90 percent as good as a desk microphone is awesome because if you don't have it it can uh really let you down now what we actually have here is a usb a to a mini USB plug. I hate mini USB. So that's one thing I, I don't like about this. Micro USBs are so much more popular. I'm, I'm surprised to see these around at all anymore. And then here is, all right, here is the microphone. And I can tell you right now, I don't think <laughs> this is, that's the only thing in the box, that this is at all the same as my Samsung. Look at how small this is. This thing is tiny. It is like a little larger than a Tic Tac case. Tic Tac, sir! But it does come with this little fabric hard case here and zippered, and I'm just gonna open it up, and I can tell you what. All right, this thing is way smaller than my other one. My other one is longer, wider, and that's why it is a little different. Now you can see here, dude, I am stunned at how small this is. This is by far the most portable microphone. So if it works a darn or is worth a darn, I think it's pretty impressive. So you can see we have like this base. This is metal and you can see it has a hinge right here. We have four rubber feet there. And then on the top, we have this clamp rubber right there and that's kind of clamping down the microphone. So what I can do here is kind of lift it up by squeezing there and now I can rotate this microphone out and that clamp will go back down. There's a rubber pad in here too. That's going to keep that microphone clamped in here when I put it in there to take this thing along with me. So first of all, I am pretty impressed, man. This is super, super duper small. The rest of this is plastic right there. You can see that. And then what you can do is rotate this microphone up. Now I will tell you that because the microphone is so light and this base is metal, I think it's going to have no problem when it's open like this and fully extended that way, that it's not going to be imbalanced. There's just too much weight here. So you can see here, the microphone piece itself is just kind of like a little square. And we do have, um, it's a cardioid design because we have a little metal grate on the front and just plastic covering the back. And in fact, we also have a little, I don't think, well, it is a button here, a little button right there. And it looks like we have a little translucent ring around it. So I'm guessing that's gonna light up and you can see Amazon Basics right there. So I'm not sure if this is a, a mute button or a cough button, but um, you can see here on the side is where that micro USB or mini USB cable plugs in. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up and then we are gonna try it out. I have the microphone plugged into the camera and I wanna just uh, bring it up here because you can see that button is lit up. And if I hit this, it is a mute button. When it goes red, it should not be recording. So if I just count here, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully you saw that. Um, and hopefully it stopped recording. So I think it's kind of what works like a cough switch. I do love the fact that there's a light. So you know when it is not recording because there is no other headphone jack or anything. So there's no audio monitoring here, but I think that's great. Now it's facing you. So the audio pickup shouldn't be great, but if I actually move it in front of me here like this, and if I go ahead and I just put it like say on a box. So this is how I would probably set it up. I'm going to play with it just for a second there. Uh, if I were going to do a podcast, like I said, I love it. It's, it's so small. It's so tiny. Um, if I were going to do a podcast with this, this is probably about the audio that you can expect from it. Now, I'm not expecting great things from this. I think this is more of a microphone that is meant to be a stopgap from all of your professional equipment, right? If you're on the road, you know, if you're going to do a vlog on a hiking trip or a camping trip, you do not want to carry a lot of stuff. But I think you do owe it to people to have decent audio when you can. And a little microphone like this, I think is gonna go a long way to making your videos, your podcasts, your audio recordings, your FaceTimes, whatever it might be, uh, so much better. And yet 
you're not really sacrificing anything. I mean, if you're carrying a deck of cards with you, this is smaller than that. Um, I would say this is about the size of a half a deck of cards. This is the case, remember. Just kind of crazy. So, am I impressed with this? I really expected this to be a clone of the Samson and the Samson and just kind of a rebrand of it, you know, kind of uh, the house brand by Amazon, if you will. But I will tell you that it is different and I love that mute button, that little button on it too. So, I actually like this and I think if the audio quality, like I said, is worth anything, that this would be my preferred one over the other one and it's half the price so i will put a link to it in the description if you want to pick one up peter von panda out